Good evening! So I thought I would jump on for our quick Sunday evening live where I'll be sharing a little bit of a mindset hack or what would we call it? Definitely not some unsolicited advice. The reason that I've called it this is this week in particular, I've heard this come up quite a lot. I've written it down a few times and it's such an interesting topic. And I'm just gonna ask you a question first. Have you ever had a situation in your life, whether it's in your career, relationship, health, anything like that, and you ring a friend? It might just be like your go-to friend that you ask all the questions. It might be a work colleague, it might be a family member. And you explain it and you're like, listen, I'm in this predicament and I don't know what to do and I just feel like this. And the next thing you know, it's the other person is saying to you, listen, as soon as you hear that word, listen, listen, here's what I would do. Or listen, what you need to do is, or listen, here's what you should do. It happens a lot. Let's be honest, like everyone loves, 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 loves giving their own opinion. But what we must remember is when we do open ourselves up to other people's opinions, advice, um, direction, whatever you want to call it, you are actually opening yourself up to be quite vulnerable. Let's be honest. And what you must remember is every time you do this, that person is giving you advice or giving you, let's say, mentorship through their own past experiences. Unless they're a trained coach or a mentor or have a background in that, which you would know because they would tend to ask you questions. Like, my job is basically I'm a question asker. <laughs> um, don't forget it sounds so cool on a CV. But it's about asking questions, reflecting, guiding, prompting, all those kinds of things. But what we tend to see happen is we get their version of what their past experience has given, has, has given them. Okay, so next time you go to ask someone, I want you to really stop and pause for a moment because especially when we're feeling overwhelmed or we've got something on our mind, we want to run and ask someone, don't we? It's quite a natural thing to do. And then what we can tend to do is if we don't like the answer that they've given us, which based on their own personal experiences, what we call in NLP, their map of the world, their values, their beliefs, their experiences. If we don't like it, or we're not completely sold on it, we then tend to go and ask someone else. Then what you may be faced with is multiple ad parts of advice and multiple experiences, multiple definitely avoid this, which actually may completely contradict what someone else has told you to do or advised you to do. So what I'm going to recommend is the next time you feel that urge to go to run to someone to ask for some advice or a question that's burning away, have a stop and think, are they the right person to ask? Yes, they may have known you from childhood or yes, they may be the go-to person in the office that seems to have it all their shit together. But I want you to really stop and think, has that person possibly been through something similar that I have? Or will they come from a place that's going to have you kept in mind? Um, or is there anyone else I can go to? So that's sort of step number one. If you get that sudden urge where you're like, oh, I've got to pick up the phone or go and ask someone. The next thing I'm actually going to say is about tuning in. Okay, and what I mean by tuning in is we have, you have this internal guidance system called your intuition that you can tap into absolutely any time that you wish. It's with you day and night. The more you use it, the more you practice it and strengthen it, the stronger it becomes. And 
<laughs> what I tend to get asked, because I talk about this a lot in, um, I do a weekly workshop at a recovery centre. Um, and a lot of them, whenever I talk about intuition, they're like, yeah, but how do you know if it's right? Like, how do you know if that's the right thing? How do you know it's giving you the right advice? Well, it's the same as when you ask a friend. You're only going to go off what they say and how convincing they are. Only you can ask your intuition and then you'll get that gut feeling. And when I say that gut feeling, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> I'm sure you will know what I mean. That gut feeling of, yeah, you should really go for this or I'd avoid that one. I'm going to be honest, it's trial and error. This is something I would say that I lean on my intuition so often on a daily basis, whether it comes down to where I want to go out and eat or whether it's something around business or family life, like whatever it is. And the way that you get to know and nurture your intuition is through trial and error. You may ask yourself the question, you may give yourself some advice or do you know what actually? I do believe in you. I think that you should just go for it. Go for that promotion or go and have that conversation. Then when you see it through without the warped opinion of, of everyone else, you will be guided. You will then see that that was the right thing. Or maybe it wasn't so. But only by doing that, only by taking those steps, will you listen to that gut feeling and begin to decipher when your gut tells you yes, it's a strong yes. When your gut tells you avoid that, it's a strong no. There's like the complete um, sync between your intuition and your gut feeling. They're very, very, very close knitted. Some people would say it is that your intuition is your gut. Um, I personally love the science behind it when it comes to your pineal gland and the more that you use it, it's like a muscle, the more it, it strengthens. You can start to have feelings about certain people or feelings about certain opportunities. And before you know it, you, you feel like you're almost being guided. Um, but so much of it can come from in here. So just a little recap. The next time you have something that you want advice on or maybe you're unsure on, question if you are going to a reliable source before you just go running to the nearest person to you and pour your heart out and they go, listen, listen out for that word. I bet you hear it next week. Whenever you ask someone something, they'll go, listen, here's what I would do. Or listen, when this happened to me, or listen, what you should not do, bam, let the alarm bells go off. Take it with a pinch of salt. It might be the right thing, but then I want you to tune in and begin to nurture that intuition because you know what's best for you. We might not always like it. We might not always want to believe it, but it's there for a reason. And it's a bloody powerful one. Um, of course, you've always got external help. You've got coaches, you've got no doubt Facebook groups. This is why I created the Awaken the Warrior group. So if people are amongst like-minded people where it isn't just advice and telling you what to do because life doesn't work like that. So just be mindful of if you're ever getting any unsolicited advice and tune in here and here. So I am going to love you and leave you on that one. If you've got anything that you would like to share on this topic, please, please do. I find it absolutely fascinating. And maybe if you've got any stories from when You've asked for someone else's advice and it's just purely been filtered through their map of the world and it's not quite been the right thing. Or maybe you have taken that leap of faith, as we say, and tuned in and listened to yourself and the result has come either way. Um, I'd love to know. So have a great rest of your weekend and I will no doubt catch you very soon.